I'm Jason Kovitz, and today I'd like to talk to you about how a resilient edge makes for a resilient IoT deployment. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the history of IT and how it's been deployed historically. Initially, IT was deployed in a fashion that was centralized, and that was mainframe computing. Later on, it then transitioned to more of a decentralized model in the client server network. The pendulum then swung back towards a centralized model of cloud computing, and it's now moving back to a decentralized model in the form of edge computing. So the question is, why are we moving back towards this decentralized model? Well, the answer is this. The cloud was conceptualized for a couple of very specific applications, things like email, productivity applications, communication applications, applications that were fairly binary. Performance was not a major consideration. Either they were available or they weren't. However, in the world of IoT, that's no longer acceptable. Performance of these applications is absolutely paramount. Whether we're talking about smart fitting rooms or augmented reality in retail locations, connected operating rooms or smart beds in hospitals, or we're talking about mobile banking. There's many other types of applications from autonomous driving to various industrial IoT applications. And the reason that these applications are different than the historical cloud applications is a couple. Number one, many of them have higher bandwidth requirements. Number two, they have lower latency requirements. And or number three, there's more government regulation around how the customer data is being managed. But before we jump right into this decentralized model, we really have to slow down and think about how are we deploying these sites? And I think we might find there's some ways that we need to adapt what we're doing. The best practices that we see in centralized and regional data centers, redundancy, monitored sites, staff sites, they're organized, secure. Those types of best-in-class deployments are often not seen at localized edge sites. There's no redundancy. They're unmanaged. They're unstaffed. They're deployed in ad hoc fashion, and they're unsecure. And what that ultimately leads to is significantly less availability and more downtime. The average tier three data center experiences a roughly 30 minutes of downtime a year, where the typical local edge site experiences about 29 hours annually. And that's actually multiplied many times out because with a typical tier three data center, a corporation might have one, two, maybe three of those. However, local edge sites, they could have dozens or hundreds or thousands. So really, that downtime difference understates the actual effect of having a lower availability local edge deployment. So next, we're going to talk a little bit about how to deploy these local edge sites in a way that makes them closer in availability to these centralized data centers.